One of the things as we prepare ourselves for health care reform that we're going to have to promote is lower cost settings for care and lower cost providers for care uh, when appropriate. Uh, and what do I mean by that? So, for example, um, if, uh, in fact, I was just talking to uh, a physician earlier who was telling me about some of the procedures that typically were done in a center that now are being done in patients' homes. So that's obviously a lower cost setting. It's more convenient for the patient. And so that's going to be something very, very deser desirable under health care reform. And I think about a number of innovations uh, over the time that I've been practicing. Uh, the change from uh, uh, open surgeries to minimally invasive surgeries where people are in only a day or so. Uh, movement of some procedures that previously could only be done in a hospital that now can be done in an ambulatory care setting. Uh, so there's a lot of different kinds of ways to begin thinking about how can we deliver care in a lower cost setting. Uh, you know, the most obvious challenge is we try to keep people out of the emergency room that are going there for uh, inappropriate uh, reasons, you know, and, and try to find ways to solve those problems so they don't have to go to a high cost setting like the ER. So that's one, one example of things we need to do. Lower cost providers, too, is we've got to evolve as we look at changing from the model of pay for volume to pay for value to how can we do a team-based approach. In, in today's world, it rewards physicians for providing personally performed services. That can be very inefficient and very costly. What we need to do is move to providing services that provide value at the best possible outcome at the lowest cost, but consider who is needed to provide that service because it may not always be a physician. And in fact, by doing this, we can free up the physician for the things that the physician is really needed for and might be able to promote access. But in an example, uh, for some of the follow-up for certain chronic diseases, you might be able to see a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner. Um, in addition, uh, for some of the management that we need to provide at home, we need to make better use of care teams that can provide that care in a lower cost setting with lower cost providers.